Hey guys, Raphael here, and uh, so let's primer him up, clean him up, primer him up, and let's get going. Okay, so he's all primed up. Uh, ya está tiene el primer. And let's throw in some yellow. Vamos a empezar con el amarillo. Okay, I'm going in with a darker yellow, con un amarillo más oscuro. Okay, uh, we're going to seal that. Vamos a sellarlo. Okay, now we're using Silly Putty to cover it up. Vamos a tapar el amarillo con el Silly Putty. So we can do the red, para hacer el rojo. This is the part that's very time consuming. This lo que tarda bastante. Okay, here we go with the uh, red. Ya vamos con el rojo. Okay, we're going to be doing some shading later. We're going to work on this here first. Vamos a trabajar acá abajo primero. Luego vamos a hacer las sombras. Okay, we're going to work on the base. And uh, we're going to make it, uh, I don't know, maybe grayish. Como gris. Okay, we're going to give uh, the base a little bit of spatter. Vamos a echarle un poco de... De, quién sabe, quién sabe cómo se dice spatter. Pero en fin, lo que estoy haciendo. Alright, so here we have it, a little bit of spatter, um, un poco de, de uh, ¿cómo se dice? Saspicar, white and a little bit of beige uh, and some black. Um, then I sealed it, luego lo sellé, and I'm going in with some uh, shading, un poquito de, de sombras ahorita. And I'm just using black. Okay, so here I'm just going to go in with a wash in the crevices and wipe it out. Aquí nada más voy a echarle negrito y limpiarlo. Okay, so now we need to putty everything else to paint them black. Vamos a pintar ahora todo esto negro para formarlo so we can chrome them up. Okay, now he's all taped up. Ya está todo cubierto. So let's start doing the flat black. Whoops. Okay, so it's dry now, and what I'm going to do is gloss it up. Lo voy a hacer bien brilloso, and I'm going to use triple thick. Uh, you can use a uh, regular gloss finish. Uh, you just give it more coats. This gives you a real, real good clear finish with, you know, really just one coat. Uh, uso este porque con una pasada ya brilla demasiado. Uh, pueden usar cualquier otro este, brillante, no sé si así se diga, uh, nada más le dan más pasadas. So, When that dries, we're going to go in with a mirror chrome. Cuando se seca, vamos a echarle el, el cromo. And here it is. And I'm going to do it lightly until I like what I see. Voy a hacer, you know, no tan tanto, tranquilo. Okay, now let's take this stuff off. Vamos a quitarle todo eso, see what it looks like. Then we're going to paint the belt gold. But let's do some shading. Pretty cool. Vamos a pintar esto oro. Vamos a darle unas cuantas sombras. 
Okay, so to keep this nice and chrome, I'm, I don't seal it. Uh, no lo sello lo, el cromo porque eso lo hará opaco. That will make it turn dull. Now there is a uh, sealer for this mirror chrome and it works okay but it still makes it look more grayish than chrome. Hay, hay un sellador especialmente para este cromo pero al hacerlo todas maneras se ve un poco más gris que cromo. So we leave that alone. So no more sealing after this. And what I'm going to do is now paint the belt and I'm going to use metallic gold. But I'm going to use uh, model paint. This is uh, enamel. This is este pintura uh, de aceite, uh, metálica. And I'm going to do, just do it with a brush. And uh, again, I will not seal this either because when you do, it turns completely dull. Uh, tampoco lo voy a sellar porque se pone completamente uh, opaco. Okay, everyone, here it is. Aquí está. Nice and chromed. Alright, guys. Till next time. Hope you learned something. Hasta la próxima.